This eTabs tutorial will illustrate the use of the draw section cut command, which allows the user to draw a section cut for the quick determination of resultant forces. For this example, we have modeled a two-story concrete building consisting of slabs supported by columns and walls. The model has already been analyzed and the deformed shape is shown on the right. In the left view, we will show the floor moments. A section cut may only be drawn on a view that is showing forces or displacements. Now we can go to the draw, draw a section cut command. We will draw a section cut line across a portion of the slab. This is done by holding down the left mouse button and extending the line to wherever you wish to end the section cut. The coordinates of the section cut line along with the resultant location are displayed using global coordinates. The resultant location is the center of the section cut line. For the section cut, the integrated forces in the 1, 2, and Z directions and the moments about the 1, 2, and Z axes are displayed for both the right and left sides of the line. We can also adjust the location of the section cut line from within this form without having to redraw it. Here we will adjust the line such that it is exactly centered, minus 1 to 73 for the X coordinates and 36 for the Y. We will also adjust the resultant force location such that it occurs in the exact middle, 36, 36, and 0 for the angle. We hit the refresh button to update the results. Notice that the Z forces match and the moments are identical except for the sign as expected. Next we will draw a section cut over the columns. Again, the integrated forces are provided on both the right and left sides of the section cut line. For this case, because our section cut line was drawn from the left to the right in plan, the right side will be on the bottom and the left side will be on the top as you look along the length of the line. Now we change the right view to an elevation. On this elevation we will draw another section cut line through the bottom story. We can remove everything but the walls from the section cut and update the resultants. Or we may show the resultants for just the columns. If we remove both the columns and walls, the values are zero as our section cut does not pass through any other objects. This concludes this tutorial on section cuts.